Hello and welcome back once again to Urban X-Files. Today is the strange case of a witch that was advertised in a local newspaper for requested service. Sometime in the 60s, there was a certain newspaper that had a very intriguing request in an advertisement. It said there is a witch of all powers is urgently needed to lift a curse that's been placed on a family for over 70 years. And this curse has afflicted a nobleman and employment genuinely offered. Now, I am sure many readers of the paper saw this strange advertisement as something very amusing. But the gentleman who requested the services of a witch was deadly serious. He was a duke and he was in his 70s and he was a very unfortunate person who'd suffered bankruptcy and a man who had experienced a long run of bad luck in his personal and his financial life. The aristocrat who was now beginning to feel his age believed this in continual misfortune was the result of a strange curse that was placed on his family many years ago. Now, there were hundreds of people who had strangely responded to this advertisement. And many of them were practicing witches, but the particular woman the gentleman decided was from Merseyside. Eat the salty, give her a try. She was in her 50s and she looked a lot younger, 20 years younger in fact. And within a few months of hiring this witch, he began to experience an amazing upturn with his luck and he was soon able to pay off all of his debts and he was able to re-enter society. The witch remained in contact with the grateful gentleman until his death and in the meantime this practicing Wiccan was at large throughout the northwest of England. Now this kind lady offered her services for free and investigated many hauntings and apparitions. And in the 70s, this witch investigated several sightings of a huge black phantom dog with fiery red eyes that attacked pedestrians and vehicles on a stretch of road in Heswall. This menacing beast was even encountered by two policemen. They were in their squad car and they travelled down a road at early hours on this specific morning. Now the officers saw this beast of a dog which seemed to be of a Labrador golden retriever type of breed except it was much larger, more the size of a Great Dane. And they too saw the eerie red glowing eyes of this sinister hellhound. The self-styled Wiccan encountered and confronted this black beast at a place called Woody Knot one evening, early midnight. And she allegedly slew the animal with her powers. And that night, two witnesses on a farm reported seeing a flash of light at Woody Knot, followed by a red flame leaping over 50 feet into the air. The witch said the black dog had been an agent of the devil and inadvertently conjured up by an amateur dabblers in the occult and black arts. And after that night, the terrifying canine apparition was seen no more. In the most intriguing paranormal incident 
which this lovely witch dealt with was in A.B. Heath sometime in the early 70s. One of her friends, who we'll call Claire, she was a friend of the Wiccan and she reported the disappearance of her seven-year-old son and her four-year-old daughter at a nearby common. Claire had been walking with her children when her son became entrailed with something he'd noticed somewhere in the distance. He shouted, what? Before running off with his sister to take a closer look. Now within seconds, they were nowhere to be seen. It was as if they evaporated into thin air. Now, as you can imagine, Claire was distraught and she told police and she was unable to explain the disappearance. So she contacted her witch friend, whose amazing powers were well known throughout Merseyside. She used a dowsing rod and told Mrs. Claire that her children were behind an invisible barrier. This seemed too hard to believe and the police did not take this claim too seriously for obvious reasons. Now, she said that there was a nasty sinister force involved. The police thought this witch was a bit of a crank and dismissed her claims. Just before dawn on the following day, she arrived at Claire's home with the missing children. The little girl and the little boy had a very strange story to share. They run into the common after seeing this bizarre looking man. He was about seven foot tall. He had some strange pointed helmet and a close fitting suit. The man called the boy and the girl closer and then he pointed to what looked like a giant mushroom, something you would see on Alice through the looking glass. The children went inside the toadstool with this huge creature and discovered it was an ultra modern house of some sort. There were futuristic fittings and appliances and the man asked the children if they'd like to live with him but they became very anxious and said they would rather not and they wanted to go back to their mum. This crazy man had pretended to cry and complained that he felt very alone and he needed company. But the children sensed something nasty and sinister was a thought. And they ran out of this circular dwelling. However, when they ran from this strange mushroom shaped house, they didn't get very far because they found that they were blocked somehow by a type of invisible wall and they almost knocked themselves out. The young boy yelped in pain as he grabbed his nose, which had almost been broken by this invisible wall. The helmet man shouted and determined as he explained that he would be taking them away very soon. But on seeing the children's reluctance to grow, he grew agitated and he ended up fleeing into his home, which at that moment had vanished into thin air. It had been at that point that the witch had come up on the scene. The witch was obviously alarmed as she ushered the children to safety and she was concerned that the figure was some child abductor from another dimension. And she warned Claire never to let the children out of his sight Gain, especially on that stretch of road. Now, a month or so after this incredible episode, the press reported that a young boy and girl on the Isle of Wight. Now, a month or so after this strange episode, the press had reported that a boy and a girl from the Isle of Wight had encountered a strange figure which fitted the same description as Claire's children. 
the article had said how the children had been invited into this strange house with a strange interior and the children had the courage to accuse the odd man of being some kind of ghost which he replied well not really but I am odd in some strange way he had apparently mused distractedly and when the kids asked the man what he meant he would say you know, only you know now during the half hour or so in which the children talked to this strange entity men working nearby saw nothing it was if the children and their strange outer worldly character were invisible luckily they were not abducted and the weird man and his distinctive house had vanished. Now, as for the witch, she sadly passed away sometime in the late 90s, in her 80s. So, have any of you encountered any of these strange stories? And have any of you ever heard of a witch called Libra? or something similar. If so, please do get in touch. But for now, take care and see you all in the next video. Peace.